It's being called Farmageddon. Employees of major pharmacies are walking off the job this week to raise awareness about understaffing and poor working conditions. Now, there have been no reports of walkouts in our region, but Krista Rose has taken a closer look at the issues that pharmacists are raising. In September and October, workers at national pharmacies like CVS and Walgreens have taken turns walking off the job for anywhere from one to two days, and several walkouts are scheduled nationally for this week. Pharmacists say it's to raise awareness about understaffing and improving working conditions at some pharmacy locations. While this hasn't been an issue in and around Pittsburgh, Lucas Berenbrock, an associate professor of pharmacy and therapeutics at University of Pittsburgh, says that pharmacists' concerns are real. The first thing that pharmacists are are clinicians, healthcare providers, and we consider ourselves to be the medication experts. And so everything that we do is about getting the right medication to the right patient at the right dose at the right time. And that all is about patient safety. Both CVS and Walgreens responded to our inquiries on this issue, with CVS saying that they are not experiencing any unusual activity regarding things like pharmacy closures or pharmacists walking out. They also said in a statement, quote, in response to recent feedback from our pharmacy teams, we're making targeted investments to address their key concerns, including enabling teams to schedule additional support as needed, enhancing pharmacists and technician requirements in hiring, and strengthening pharmacy technician training. Walgreens said that only three pharmacies closed this morning nationwide due to workforce disruptions, and they also went on to say, our leaders are in our pharmacies regularly, listening to concerns and frustrations and responding to feedback. We've taken steps over the last two years to improve pharmacists' experience, advance the profession, and enable them to provide the high-value care that we are trained to do. Pharmacies are really a pivotal piece of our healthcare system, and so we have to find a way to make more bright young minds choose pharmacy as a career and we need to make sure that um, community pharmacies can stay open and they can staff so that the patient always comes first with the patient safety. Reporting in downtown Pittsburgh, Chris DeRose, KDKA-TV News.